Hi everybody, welcome back to another What I Eat in a Week. Today is Sunday. I have a pretty busy Sunday today because I'm gonna eat Cheerios and then head to church. The goal this week is to keep track of all my work since I have a lot of assignments due. And then the week after this week is another physics quiz, which I really, really need to do well on. It's only 10 a.m. and I just got back from in-person church. I just feel so productive. It was a really good service. Now I have lots of time to do work for the rest of the day. Also, I did not realize today was daylight savings because it's November 1st. I got an extra hour of sleep and I didn't even know. I don't even feel like I did. Yay, I got roots for lunch and I was just craving something very vegetable heavy because I don't know, I feel like I haven't been having a lot of vegetables lately. I got pickled jalapenos this time instead of grape tomatoes. I just wasn't feeling tomato-y today. Those jalapenos are spicy. Lately, it has been so gloomy outside. It's literally like raining all day today. Whenever it gets this weather, I feel like much sadder. And I think it's a real thing. Whenever I go back home to California and it's always sunnier there, I always get happier just like automatically just because. And obviously like being in mostly isolation most of the time with COVID and stuff is not helping with that. But at the same time, I do like my alone time. I'm just a very <laughs> indecisive type of person. I've been working on my pre-lab for chemistry all morning and then I hopefully can have time to study some physics. You see what I'm saying, right? It's like pouring rain. It's like freezing cold. Rachel? <laughs> oh? Oh! <laughs> Hold on, let's do like a close-up. I just got back from getting pizza and meeting up with Millennia and that's probably the last time I'm gonna see her before I graduate and leave Penn State. So I love you so much, Millennia. Thank you so much for being the best NSO roommate ever and a wonderful, wonderful friend. It was really good and the pizza was pretty good. I don't know if it's as good as Snap, but I will say the prices there are amazing. The pizza was only like $6.50 for like that entire thing and I ate it all. I was really craving something sweet and I really wanted to treat myself today because I don't know, it's just, it's the weekend and I got a cookie witch. I got the mint chip scoop two chocolate chunk cookies insomnia cookies just came out with the vegan cookie they came out with vegan birthday cake vegan double chocolate chunk and then vegan chocolate chunk and this is the vegan one i got the regular one to compare so this is what the regular one looks like this is what the vegan one looks like it's pretty good apparently they were like sold out today it's a little bit crispier on the outside and like thinner Whereas this one, like, ooh, do you see that? It just like breaks apart and it's like a little bit thicker. Mmm. Yeah, the chocolate here is a bit sweeter. I still think that I like the regular one better, but the vegan one is still very good. Yummy. I love their mint chocolate chip. Mmm. Here's what you gotta do. Like that. Let me know in the comments if you guys like mint chip or not. Some people think it tastes like toothpaste. I'm drinking this because I'm starting to get kind of thirsty and I'm just craving something carbonated. So as you can tell, I didn't do my hair or anything. I got up early, like at 7.30 and I felt kind of lethargic. So I decided to do a workout. I did some Blogilates cardio, abs, and a butt workout. I got my raw peanut butter acai bowl because after last week, I tried this, but I tried changing things up with like almond butter. Overall, the matcha was good, but the almond butter was not a great combination with with this because it's not runny it was chunky if you would like to know it's like 35 degrees outside and windy and there's little like snowflakes flying around and i really went outside with birkenstocks and no socks my feet were numb Give it all to you. Mm. cold acai on a cold day i don't know why she put the peanut butter like all on the bottom it's gonna be really hard to get it some days are better than others but overall it tastes so good Oh my goodness. Oh, 
I finally got back from the hub. I got a poke bowl and I'm so excited to eat it actually since I haven't had it in a while and like honestly with like campus dining, if I eat it every single day, I will get sick of it. But since I haven't had this particular thing in a while, it actually looks really good. I got double seaweed salad because I totally forgot that I could ask for like up to five toppings. I was literally the biggest mess on the way back to my room. I dropped almost every single thing I was holding. I dropped my chopsticks, I dropped my ID, I dropped my lanyard, I dropped literally everything. Right now, I know I should be studying and all that stuff and I have so much assignments to do this week but I'm like taking like 20 minute increment breaks to watch Holiday. It's like the new movie like Christmas movie that came out with Emma Roberts on Netflix. Ways are pretty good. Not as good as Twix or Snickers, but I don't know. I thought they would be. I kind of want to try Whopper since I've never had one. Yeah, I don't really like Whoppers. They're a bit too sweet for me. Not enough like caramel or anything inside. Should I try Milk Dud? I don't think I've had one of these either. They have chocolate and caramel inside. Ow. These are really sticky. My teeth hurt. See, there's a reason why I never tried all of these. I don't know if I'll like Three Musketeers, but I'll try one. Mm, there's not enough texture to this one. It's very just like one note. Last dessert of the day, because I know this is gonna be good compared to the other ones. I'm gonna do a clay mask and just do a little bit of self-care while I do some work and I have to wake up really early tomorrow because actually tomorrow's election day, November 3rd. You guys are probably gonna be seeing this like way later because I'm so behind on editing. I plan on waking up at 6 a.m. so we can get breakfast, Kelly and I, and then we're gonna go to the polls around 7 because apparently it opens at 7. I just don't want to wait in line plus also I have a 9 a.m. class on Zoom so there's no choice. I have to get it done before 9 and we just gotta get through this week. We're trying our best out here and that's all you can do. Oh, I'm like blinded by the light. It's like 5.30 right now. The plan is that Kelly is supposed to pick me up at 6.30. We're gonna go to Dunkin' Donuts and then get breakfast and then um, get to the BJC by 7 a.m. to vote. Okay, it's 6.20. Kelly will probably pick me up soon to go to Dunkin'. We're gonna go vote. So I accidentally did my thing wrong, so I had to spoil my ballot and then get a new one. I didn't even eat my Dunkin' yet <laughs> because I was so stressed out. I got a bacon, egg, and cheese on an English muffin. I'm going to take a bite and taste test it really quickly. Oh, is it a pizza? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I look like a little chipmunk. <laughs> and the like is going out of your mouth. This is really good by the way. 746, so we're gonna head back. I got back from a run like a few hours ago. It's 5.40 now. I'm a little bit hungry. I'm still really not that hungry, but I know I should eat something, especially since my stomach honestly has been kind of upset for the past few days. A lot of like indigestion and like acid reflux. The hibachi today was not a good decision just because it's like pretty salty and like the sauces on it like do upset my stomach. And I had it two days in a row. I wanted something that's like kind of warm today since it's like very cold. I also forgot that I had a persimmon from a week and a half ago. So so hopefully it's still good. I just cut it up and put it in here with some peanut butter, cinnamon, chocolate, honey, and just like my regular oats with almond milk. I should have like microwaved it a little bit more. It's like very um liquidy. Yeah, it could be a little more done. Hmm. Let me show you. They look a lot more creamy if you can tell. Warm persimmon is so good. This is literally just like fall in a bowl. Who knew persimmon, peanut butter, and chocolate tasted so good together? This is how creamy it is. Do you see that? They're kind of slacking on the presentation today, but got the same peanut butter acai bowl. I ended up putting on my own peanut butter. 
just because they gave me this like really like clumpy peanut butter that was like at the end and like it wasn't it just didn't taste good both the almond butter and the peanut butter that they've been giving me it's like very clumpy and it feels like old and stale at first i was very skeptical about on-campus acai bowls because i was just like not sure how the quality would be but this is actually really good i can't say the same for their blended bowls to be honest with you i like the bee pollen I have an English assignment that is due tonight, and it's like a big, big, big project on genetic modification of food. Because I chose such a topic, don't know why. I thought it would be interesting, but it turns out I don't really know much about it anyway, so. Pumpkin cream cold brew from The Hub, using my meal plan, so. It never fails me, and the tall size is perfect for me. Recently, I've been listening to a lot of Lemonade Mouth. <laughs> It's a very underrated Disney movie, guys. If you've never watched it, you should. I was done with lab super early. I got finished at like 3.10 and it starts at like 1.20. I finished at the same time as my friend Andrew, so we ended up having Panda at the Hub. I got black Angus steak, broccoli beef, half rice, half vegetables, and it was so good. The pepper Angus steak thing was delicious. Andrew actually recommended it to me, so that's why I got it, and it ended up being so so good so it's 12 22 a.m i just got finished working on my lab i was gonna come back and have some ice cream even though my stomach hurts so bad from panda express but i forgot that i turned off my fridge when i was talking earlier so it's been off this entire time which means everything is melted so i'm just gonna have this and i feel like it's honestly the universe telling me not to r.i.p my stomach more by eating ice cream I just dropped it on the floor. Hello, it is November 5th, Thursday morning at 8 16 a.m. I woke up at like 7 30 because I have a 9 a.m. today and I just wanted to like relax in the morning. I got this. I'm so excited. They have like runny peanut butter today, which I'm a huge fan of, as you guys already know. Look at this dragon fruit. Like it's so pretty. It's like a jelly version of dragon fruit, it feels like. And also there's like frozen pineapples in there. I don't know if you can tell. The dragon fruit adds like a little bit of freshness to it because the banana and peanut butter and chocolate are all kind of heavier. This is like tropical and light. I need to finish my lab report that is due tomorrow. It is a complete hot mess right now. You do not want to read it. And there's also a five page limit and I'm not even done with it. I'm pretty sure it's like 10 pages. I haven't watched Sister Sister in so long. Oh, my physics teacher is so cute. <laughs> I got done with lab pretty early today because I, I don't know, my group was just zooming. Also, I feel like we did it wrong, well, at least I did, but it's fine. I got a little bit hungry, it's like 1 p.m. right now, and usually the acai bowl fills me up until like at least three or four, but today I'm feeling a little more hungry. So I got Chick-fil-A from the hub with Chick-fil-A sauce. I didn't get any fries or anything just because I feel like I'll be too full and like I won't be able to study for the rest of the day if I eat that right now. <laughs> it always makes me so happy, like, the smell of Chick-fil-A is just unmatched. Do you hear this? Mm -hmm. Gotta honor your cravings. I was really like, I want a fried chicken, piece of fried chicken today. I don't know if you can tell, but I am sweating like crazy right now because I have been wearing like my thick, very insulated Patagonia jacket all day. It is not that cold today. It's like 64 degrees outside right now, so it's pretty warm. I decided to go to the dining hall because, you know, I was there already to pick up my packages. So I got the General Tso's chicken, some mashed potatoes on the side with broccoli and bok choy, some cantaloupe, and then a banana to save for tomorrow, and a fortune cookie and a cookie on the side to perhaps eat with ice cream because I'm just feeling a little bit more hungry than usual today. I've said this before, but I love Thanksgiving food in general. Like, I cannot wait for Thanksgiving. It's in like 20 days almost. Let's try the ginger glazed bok choy. That's what it looks like. Super salty, but that's just because it's like very soy saucy. But overall, I do like bok choy. This chicken. That's not bad. Has some like tangy, sweet, and slightly spicy sauce on it. It's very interesting how they had like an Asian style thing with bok choy and chicken, but then they had mashed potatoes and broccoli on the side. I haven't had like fresh fruit in quite a while. Well, actually, that's such a lie. I had fruit this morning and yesterday. Hmm, it's nice and cold. I'm not gonna lie though, my stomach hurts a lot from the Chick-fil-A earlier. 
I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. Like tomorrow, I really have to eat stuff that doesn't hurt my stomach because it's getting a bit hard to keep dealing with cramps every day. Penn State Bakery cookies are really good and chewy. Not quite as fresh as they used to be because they're like packaged now, not freshly made. This plus this for dessert. Got a bagel, egg, and cheese with ice latte with oat milk. If you want to know something, I forgot my ID on the way here, so I had to pay for this with my credit card. I was not happy about it. Today I went to Roots for dinner. It's like 4 p.m. right now and I got a bowl with half kale, half Arcadian mix, and then half brown rice with sweet potatoes, cannelli beans. I've never actually gotten the beans at Roots before so hopefully they're good. Broccoli, pickled carrots, and then cucumbers I think. So I'm really excited to eat and grilled chicken on top. I also got lemon tahini dressing with a squeeze of lime and lemon. I never watched Easy A before, so I might watch a little bit of that while I eat some ice cream. Mm, it's so caramel -y. Easy A came out when I was 10 years old. So I still remember going to the theaters and then seeing like a cardboard cutout of Emma Stone in Easy A. And I was like, oh, this is such an interesting movie. I was a very innocent 10 year old, so probably not the best premise for me to watch. I remember seeing that cutout and being like, oh my God, this girl is stunning. And she still is, so. She's a queen. Oh my god, Allie from Allie and AJ is in this. I guess you could call this my midnight snack. Yay, good night. It's Saturday morning, 8.50 a.m. I thought today was gonna be a pretty chill day originally, but I think it's gonna be sort of busy since I got chosen for random COVID testing again. That's fine. I am just gonna go today at 1 p.m. I also made plans with my friend Natalie because her birthday is coming up and I definitely don't have time next week to meet up with anybody before my physics test. I kind of want to pick up duck donuts for her just like as like a birthday thing because I feel like you always need something sweet for a birthday celebration type of thing. It's still pretty early because we're meeting at 10 30. So I kind of want to go on a walk or something of that sort. It's literally so beautiful Won't you stay with me? Won't you stay I love when there's nobody outside <laughs> I wanted to find somewhere relatively secluded where I could just talk in nature. I think it is very, very good for your mental health to take walks, to go out into nature, to get off your phone. Obviously, I'm talking to a camera right now, but for the most part, I'm off my phone. Just like breathe in fresh air. It's just like, <sighs> something about it really does like lift your spirits. Like it's so weird. It's like you could be feeling really disgusting and like just gross and just really groggy. And then you go on like 10, 20 minute walk. And then all of a sudden you're like, it feels completely different. That's my recommendation. If you are feeling really in a slump right now, enjoy the nature that is outside. It's still just so beautiful and we just take it for granted. It's your birthday in like three days, no? How do you feel being almost 20? 20. 20? Yeah. It feels weird. I feel old, you know? Yeah. Weird. You're not gonna be a teen. Yeah. It's whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've had this before, though. It's okay. Pretend like you have it. Oh. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Rating to out of 10. Maybe like eight and a half. Oh, damn. That's pretty good. Okay. Happy early birthday, girly. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.
Hello, I just got back from COVID testing. I'm going to be honest with you, I am feeling really um, not good right now. My stomach hurts really bad. I don't know why, but my stomach's been very, very sensitive this whole week. And this time it's not acid reflux, but it's like cramps and my stomach just feels upset like it felt okay this morning not the best but then after i ate the lox bagel with like cream cheese and stuff like that and it wasn't like the lightest meal ever i don't feel so good like i feel a little nauseous why does my stomach have to be so sensitive i don't feel good at all all i want to do is just like rest in bed and i'm sad because it's like a beautiful beautiful day it's like 75 and sunny and everyone's outside and i need to do work but here I am laying in bed with a stomach ache. It's gonna be okay. I'm in bed and I'm trying to think about why my stomach hurts. And for a second I was like, do I have corona? It occurred to me. I think it's the ice cream that I ate last night. I ate literally half the pint of Talenti. The thing is, the caramel ice cream at the top, the color was very dark. When I originally bought it, it was like a light brown. And then I ate it and it was like a very dark brown. And I think it was because I accidentally turned my fridge off. I thought my ice cream was probably fine and it refroze. And so I ate it last night. There is a good chance that it's actually like kind of rotten. I think I just food poisoned myself basically because um, I just went to the bathroom room and uh, I feel like I'm gonna have to go to the bathroom again soon. There is nothing like you, there was nothing like you, and there shall be nothing like you. I love the little quotes on these. I'm gonna drink my ginger tea, hopefully my digestion gets better. I'm really not feeling good, like at all. The ginger tastes really good though. My stomach is still not feeling great, but it's like 5 p.m. right now, and I'm just gonna eat a banana and peanut butter. Okay, I'm starting to think that was a no bueno idea because I just finished my banana and peanut butter and my stomach immediately hurts with like sharp pains. I think I'm just gonna end this what I eat in a week here. It was kind of a sad ending, I guess. I don't want you guys to be worried or anything just because by the time I edit and post this video, I'll probably be fine, you know what I mean? I hope you guys enjoyed it overall though. Like I know today was just kind of like, Ugh. I had a lot of fun this week. We gotta prepare for the next one though because next week is do or die week for physics. Stay tuned guys. See you in the next one, bye. Where they used